Hello my friends, this is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel, bringing you State of Decay Breakdown episode number 58, and look at this for a beautiful sight. The Brendan Erickson Survivor, The Last Outlaw, in his pickup truck, and we have a Zed Hunt mission next door to hopefully get our Aaron Buchner Survivor back and in action with us as well. So we've got, I've given him his axe that he always had on his uh, Last Outlaw series. Even though he's not a powerhouse or a reflex survivor or anything, I'm determined to try and build him up as good as possible. So I'm going to give him a snack and we're going to get a few cardio levels while we are... Uh, and some wits levels and all these other sorts of levels. So that's what neighbours are for. We are going to do this mission. Their trust bar has still got a long way to go. So this is perfect training for our Brendan Erickson survivor. I'm just going to run back and get my truck now so that we can uh, go ahead and try to do this mission. I did a little bit of resource farming off camera as you guys can see here. Uh, we also had another mission ping that up there during the break. This guy's going to get in. Uh, I did a little bit of influence farming is what I should have said during the break and the reason I did that folks uh, was to quite simply uh, empty the supply locker which it got full again. So yes, we are going to search. We're not going to worry about making noise because we need to level him up anyway. We're going to roll out the way though. Uh, and I'm going to try and make him a heavy weapons expert. That is my priority for this Brendan Erickson survivor because he always was a heavy weapons expert. So we're going to continue the trend search again. Hopefully quickly this time. Nope, never mind. Right, so uh, I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to try and get a few kills in here before uh, this guy dies as well. Now, hopefully we can get these survivors recruited relatively quickly because they uh, have a good enclave plus the Aaron survivor, whatever the hell, the artist formerly known as Aaron Buchner is going to join us again as our blunt weapons expert. I could have made this Brendan Erickson survivor a blunt weapons expert, but uh, it, I really, really, really wanted him to be a heavy weapons expert just for nostalgia's sake, really. So that's the priority. Random boxes of ammo, a rifle. Uh, our thingy is shot at the moment so I'm just gonna leave that in there and we're gonna set this up as an outpost anyway that's what I mean here I should have said that before I uh, just won uh, merrily wandered in let's have an aspirin just to restore his health uh, where else have we got here more ammunition doesn't matter gun shop fully searched excellent so we can establish this as an outpost now uh, we will take these things and drop them into the supply locker nice right the supply locker should be upstairs I believe Let's just kill this guy. Oh yeah. Nice one, Joel. So we are working on this uh, infestation due to... Uh, sorry, Armored Zed Hunt. I always say infestation. Because these survivors, the Aaron Butner survivor who fell at the hands of a juggernaut in the last episode, at the last difficulty level, sorry, has once again spawned from the dead and we need to uh, rescue him. And once again, he is being kidnapped from it by these evil survivors, one of which I'm traveling with now, and we need to bring him back home where he belongs. So that is filled in the blanks here, and I believe that is all that, oh no, we still got one, we still got one outpost still to do. So I could fill in that little circle there, or we could even bring it all the way over here. I haven't really decided yet or thought about it at all, if I'm being honest. So let's head to the area of the armored zombies now. We have a Armoured Zed mission that's pinged from our own camp as well in that same area, the area formerly known as the Grange. So, I figure once this one's done, we'll do that one. We'll radio out for any supplies that might be here. That would be grand. Great way to continue this series. We need fuel, we need construction supplies. Right. So our survivor's still there waiting for our mission to ping. Uh, who's this? That Ezekiel guy's still there. There's the armoured bro. Right, that's done. Zed Hunt Armoured Zombies paid for our troubles. So that's that mission over and done with. I'm going to head in here and rescue our survivor and do this mission now. Oh, yeah, I forgot we don't have any like powerhouse abilities with this Brendan Erickson survivor, so we need to be careful. Very careful. Now, this guy's a common character model, the one with the hat and bubble jacket. It's the one I was talking about before. He's called Brendan. Oh, God. This is so uncanny, isn't it? So this guy's called Brendan, and yet we're controlling the Brendan Erickson survivor. Search, found nothing, nothing left in the office now. Uh, we're just going to finish off these guys for some extra fighting levels. Obviously, it's all uh, bonus XP at the moment for us. Uh, we've still got the... We're benefiting from the big feast, that's why his stamina and health is much better than it should be. So we've got more armoured zombies in this area here. Uh, hopefully we can get one more fighting level before... Oh, shit! I've let my stamina 
a drain. So we need to let our stamina get up. This guy can play Operation Human Shield while we while we train. Cool. Always a bloater outside as well. Oh, I'm a bro got us there. Yeah, I'll need to pop some aspirin. Uh, equip straight back to the snacks. Oh, damn it. This is why it sucks training low level survivors. <laughs> it is difficult. Uh, let's have another snack. We need to avoid this bro again. He's got us again. Jeez, this is harder than it sounds. Look at all those bros as well. This is good XP, I'm not going to lie, but it is difficult. It's just the fact that there's so many of them. It's very difficult to train people without a dojo at this difficulty level. But fighting XP is XP. As long as we can keep our health up with our aspirin. And we've got bonus XP for slaughter as well. Not bad. Yeah, we can get another left one from Y attacking there. We could get another one on this guy. That guy just narrowly avoided getting destroyed. Oh, we need uh, start a snack again. Really need to keep track of my snacks. Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit the last thing we need. Right, I need to get in my vehicle now because I'm pushing my luck. So if we get in the vehicle, that <laughs> Ezekiel Jackson's still in that area. Right. So the armored zombie's in there as well. That guy's just uh, took the brunt of the bloater. I'm not complaining about that. Now we can just run over these guys and be done with it. Now is that the mission done? No, we've got a couple more. So we've got to kill the rest of these armored zombies. It is so difficult to level up new survivors in higher difficulty levels. That's why it's almost suicidal to start a new game in a higher difficulty level. I'm trying to squish the armor, bro, without killing the bloater. It's not working. <laughs> right, so we need to do the abandoned ship tactic to get rid of the bloater. I mean, I fucking missed the bloater. Right, try again. He's just going to blow up, isn't he? Yeah. Damn it. Where's the armored bro? The armored bro, he could be anywhere. Ezekiel Jackson's not doing too well. I don't know why he's still here. He's been there literally for like the entire game. Is he going home now? Is he finally going home? Yes. God knows where he lives. I, I've never seen him before. It's probably from the enclave that we have just done the mission for. The uh, armored bro mission. Right, so that's done. Army's Ed's killed. Excellent. Scratch one freak. Now, what else have we got left? It. Why minus 49 trust? Hmm. Oh, I ran him over, didn't I? But he better not be from that on that enclave. Colony trust. So no, their trust is still quite high. Not bad. So we used quite a lot of snacks, but look at that. He's fighting levels uh, all the way up there. So yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. Now, what else have we got to do? A rucksack of fuel. Oh yeah, we were going to investigate the Grange for actual supplies now. Because that will be a good way to get our mission rolling again. Uh, I really need to start killing the... Oh shite. Jeez, this is not good. Not good at all. We've got bloaters everywhere. That's going to attract a lot of attention as well. At least the RV is ready. Uh, probably going to be best for me to teleport home at the moment. <laughs> Rest in peace, Brendan Erickson's truck. That's definitely going to go Kablamo. It's already gone. Luckily we were indoors, so I don't think we aggroed anything personally. Uh, let's try and see if I can uh, get these without making a loud noise. Not bad. Right, fine. <laughs> let's uh, do a run at home, shall we? That would probably be a good idea. We'll switch out to somebody else. Uh, then we'll head back there, because at least we found some construction materials. So I really hate training new survivors at a dojo, but I've got no space for a dojo. Plus, the RV is uh, almost ready anyway, so we're almost on the next episode. We've got to refuel, 25 fuel we need, and we need 20 construction materials. So if we manage to get those construction materials, that one will be checked off the list. Let's switch back out to our Brendan Erickson guy. We're going to train him up some more, Derek Johnson. Uh, we'll deposit that, his rifle. Uh, we'll take out more snacks, that would be a good idea. Uh, one, three, four. Sorry, no three. I forgot he's not a powerhouse, is he? Right, now I'll eat one of those as well. Uh, if I take a few of these out, I don't have enough space for then we are good to go for the duration. I don't have a vehicle, do I? Ray Santos can't spawn another one just yet. So, perfect chance to get a few cardio levels, because I think I left a vehicle outside the courthouse earlier on. Where is the courthouse? Bloody hell's the courthouse gone. 
think it was this one. Hmm. No, the courthouse is definitely down here, and I know that I left a vehicle out there earlier on as well. We've got another vehicle here, a modern pickup. We've got a pizza delivery truck. Right, let's head to the modern pickup, because the reason the courthouse might not be appearing is because an infestation uh, mission has pinged or something. We don't want to aggro that just yet. We'll wait for Lily to ping it for us. So time to get a few cardio levels for our Brendan Erickson survivor. He's not encumbered, so uh, we should be able to just cardio our way there. I think I've just... Uh, Picked the wrong place on the map. That's where I'm doing wrong. Nope. Uh, right. The courthouse is right here, though. I bet that's going to be an infestation. Uh, I know I left a vehicle there. It's gone, though, by the looks. No, there it is. Look, I can see it from here. You may as well just go to this one. Head back to the area formerly known as the Grange. Call in uh, survivors so we can double our materials. Drop uh, the current materials that we pick up off. And then we should have enough to get the RV up and running in time right so no this is definitely the courthouse <laughs> fuck you guys no 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 yeah boy that one did a flip flips are always good right so we have a vehicle we're gonna head back to the Grange now and do the construction material thing then the RV is almost up and running and good to go my friends good to go indeed uh, I'm hoping uh, to get at least to level I'm not gonna be able to get to 15 uh, on camera but I'm gonna get to 14 on camera and then I'm gonna do a little bit of off-camera grinding before tomorrow's recording session the reason I can't get to 15 is not due to time I've got a lot of time today I've got a day off work but uh, I have no space on my computer so I'm going to show you guys getting to level 14. As you can see, we haven't really had any trouble with 12 and 13, save a few minor issues outside of the safe zone circle. Once we're in the circle, all is good. So yes, there's not really much point in me showing you episode uh, level 14. We, we will get there, but that's it. And then uh, we will take it from there. I will just do a little bit of grinding off camera. Keep you guys updated on Twitter as usual. We'll load those ones on our back. Uh, we have no room for those... Although they are pretty good. Let's see if we've got any more. That would be good. Yeah, nice. Oish! Oish, 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 oish. No worries. We're going to head back in our vehicle now. We're not going to push our luck. We've got uh, some people on the way. We've got a lot of zombies spawned again. So as you can see, we don't really struggle unless we're outside of our safe zone circle. I really want to try and up this Brendan Erickson guy so I can do a Last Outlaw series once again. Uh, I tweeted you guys during the last... A uh, few minutes, few like last time of things and stuff, and a few of you people have said that it would be a good idea. So I may actually do another Last Outlaw series at some point in the not so distant future. But yes, I'm going to do a lot of off-camera grinding again. It's the only way we're going to get to level 99. I've got a lot of episodes queued up, uploading as as we speak. So yeah, we need to take a little break from uh, recording, but continue playing. Priority is playing and getting ahead and keeping you guys updated. Nice. Right, have we got anything else for this colony? Nothing yet. Uh, it's not even halfway full. Right, so we can now uh, start repairing the RV. Repair the engine, which takes a half hour. We're literally just killing time now. Uh, do we need fuel? Yes, we did need fuel to refuel it. That costs... 25 I think so we need to start looking for fuel as well how's this guy doing cardio level 1 wits level 1 he's not doing too good yet uh, so I think I'm going to just search a few areas in the safe zone radius because we've got a half hour to kill now before there are still a few things to do that's after. dumb uh, we've got a few uh, like a half hour to kill before we can even do anything else with the RV but we are going to be moving to level 14 relatively soon there's not really much left to do so we're going to search. It's slow searching. I forgot how slow it is searching. Uh, if we... Do we need any food? No, we're, we're all good, folks. We all good. Maybe construction materials right here on our doorstep. Yep. <laughs> Tire iron as well. Right, I think I'm just going to establish this place as an outpost. It's the last one anyway, and we're not going to be here that much longer. And look at that, it's just spanned over the bridge now. Uh, the reason I did that is just because we get the supply locker in here. I've got some construction materials. Where the fuck's the supply locker? It's here, isn't it? Nope. In here. There it is. 
Right, so we've got a few things that we can drop off for a few extra spots of influence. So every little bit helps, and uh, we still need to get rid of the shit things as well. Can I call the scavengers? No. Uh, one second wind down, so by the time I've dropped these things off and gone back, we should be able to do it again. So that's good. We've dropped those off in the supply locker. Scavenger. There we go. Scavengers just coming across the road. We will take these materials home. We might as well do a spot of building again before we leave. We don't really need any more construction materials than we have. But hell, it all contributes to the final score, which is presently at 6, uh, 7,678. Hopefully these neighbours ping another mission as well, because I would like to bring those home uh, onto the next difficulty level with us. I don't think I'm going to bring all of these survivors with us, because a population of 20, you guys know that I like to keep a small, quaint camp. And at the moment, this is a huge camp. So, how are our sickness people go getting on? Not, not good. Everybody's still sick, which is a shame, because we've got a shit ton of meds. Uh, maybe it would be a good idea to upgrade to an infirmary when we've got enough materials. So that would be a priority for us. We'll snipe zombies now. Costs one ammunition and we've got nothing to lose by doing that. Uh, bunkhouse is fine. Library access. How many beds have we actually got in the camp? 16 beds and we've got a, a population of 20. Damn. However, I'm going to keep everyone at the moment. I will definitely uh, lower the camp total now that we've got a few decent survivors in our camp, at least a few rare character models. That was the priority, the main reason I did that jump, if you remember folks, the reason that I brought everyone with me was so I could find a few rarer character models. And we've done that. Now I've got a rucksack of fuel just across the way that I want. So, uh, it's just outside of our safe zone radius, so I think I can make that to be honest. Uh, I really want to level up this guy's cardio. Because combat endurance is probably going to be a priority for him. Either combat endurance or ninja. Most likely combat endurance. Just because he doesn't have powerhouse or nimble at all. So I'm going to try and max out his wits. But combat endurance will enable him to actually be a decent fighter. Without having to uh, suffer the consequences of not being a powerhouse or reflex survivor. So I'm heading to the rucksack. Hopefully we don't attract any unwanted attention. If we do, we'll just fast travel back. I know it's a cheeky exploit, but, well, if they didn't want us to do it, it shouldn't be in the game. You know that makes sense, folks. Oh, we've got Zeds here as well, so if we get our sneak on, he's going to see us anyways, and he? Let's get in the bush. Uh, how many Zeds? We've got one, two, three, four. And he can cross that way. We've got a bloater in the distance there. One there, and another Zed that's just vanished into the sunset. So if we wait for this guy to get a decent amount away then we can sneak up and get a stealth kill on this guy then we can run in and hopefully get the fuel undetected have we aggroed anything yet let's get in the bushes again no so we're doing all right now excellent uh, we've got another bro that's sneaking off into the sunset there we don't have to worry about that uh, let's just get a snack on our back fucking hell come on Right, well our stealth failed because Brendan Erickson is apparently incapable of climbing over a rock. However, we will hop in here, we will get our stealth, our stealth on again. Before things hear us. Or see us. There we go, get the rucksack. Excellent. Not bad. So, even though we've got a low level survivor, we've just successfully stealthed our way into getting this rucksack off fuel. I'm going to roll off the mountain now, uh, have a snack. So our stamina heals. Then we're going to get our cardio on again. See, it drains a lot slower once you snack on a snack. That's what it's there for. Even though we've got an apple in a crisp packet, which doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but still, well, healthy options are good. And apparently, parents have always wanted their children to eat healthier. So it's probably a way to get children to eat more healthily. Apple in a potato chips packet. Well done. So we're going to drop off this rucksack of fuel, which will enable us to hopefully uh, work towards refueling the RV in a little while. I'm almost home. Caleb has brought home, or Saleb, I don't know how you say that to be honest folks, uh, 15 materials. So we, we are able to actually upgrade to an infirmary now. Why the hell not? I'm hoping that our survivors are going to be alright by the time uh, we travel. It's because we've got a lot of them. That's why I hate having big camps. We need to narrow it down to the ones that we want now. We've got a few rare character models. 
Uh, these guys are still active by the looks of things. Outsiders are still there, even though uh, they did a runner. We probably won't ever see them again. We've got Tucker on a material supply run. He's bringing those back home as well. These guys haven't pinged another mission yet. I really hope they do. We've got 14 fuel now, so I'm going to use the radio to radiate for more fuel, because we do need more fuel. Uh, is this a fuel resource? No, it's a food resource now. Uh, the industrial supply stores are usually good places for fuel. Is that the party warehouse? No, this is the, the party warehouse, isn't it? So This one's actually in our safe zone, so I'm going to head there now, uh, take out a few more snacks so we can get his cardio up. We might as well run there. It's within our safe zone. So yes, that's our next priority. I should have had an energy drink for good old Brendan as well. But this is actually within our safe zone radius, so I really hope we get another mission pinging for these guys, because the Aaron Butner character is in there, and I would like him to be our blunt weapons expert again. It's really cool having regular survivors like non-heroes as your main characters. Like I've grown attached to the survivors that I've got, like Edgar Coolshirt and uh, Aaron Butner when he was in our camp and like the guys like that it's nice having that sort of freedom and enjoyment with our survivors right so i'm going to abandon our last warehouse now because uh, that was just a impulse warehouse setting so i didn't have to run all that stuff home right my control is fucked up hmm right it's not letting me go to my other warehouses other than that one right well that's odd isn't it Hmm. Right, it's literally not letting me go. I can move it, uh, to the right fine, but it's not letting me access my warehouses. So that's probably another fucking glitch. Doesn't surprise me. Let's <laughs> just get our search on. Hopefully we find some fuel. Found nothing. Nothing left in this warehouse. So we're unable to establish this as an outpost. Because we've got our outpost full and we can't move across. So that's another glitch that I've never seen until now. But let's head to the party warehouse, which is outside of our safe zone radius. Level 3 cardio for Brendan. If I get my stealth on again in these bushes. We'll wait for this. Oh god, that's a feral. We are not going to the party warehouse. We refuse to go to the party warehouse because there's a feral zombie there. So I need to find fuel elsewhere. We are not partying with a feral fucking zombie. Bullshit, are we? Right, let's find fuel elsewhere then, folks. Uh, Lily's radioed out for fuel as well. Did I actually do that? Let me just double check. Yes, I did. So we should have some fuel in seven minutes. You watch, it's going to send us straight to the party warehouse in the mouth of that dumbass feral. Right, where else is good for fuel? Usually garages, so let's check out this garage here. Yeah, these places are usually good for fuel. 22 minutes in, 23 minutes, sorry, so... Oh, yeah, this one may actually be good for fuel straight away. Nothing. Damn it, son of a god, damn it. Oh, that was loud, that was loud, that was loud. Woodworking materials, call for scavengers. We will take that home as well. We will have a snack and we will do a runner. Because we've got Zeds, but we're still in our safe zone radius. So as long as I uh, get my speed on, we should be all right. I'll hop over this fence. There's our home site right there. So we are. We have got Zeds on our tail. We've got people sniping. We've got rucksack of materials, which will extra points for building. They will probably snipe the zombies. If not, we'll kill them by the time uh, we get back. That guy's on another material run as well. We don't need materials anymore, but still. Right, let's build again. 11 minutes for that. Uh, can we upgrade to a... Nope, upgrade to a workshop. We need 25. So by the time that guy gets back, we will be able to upgrade to another warehouse. 13 snacks. We're going to just take out a few more. Why the hell not? His cardio is a priority for us. Energy drink. I didn't forget this time, folks. Uh, let's give him a coffee. Coffee, just like we did in the last Outlaw series. We used to stock up on coffee from the Grange. Right, excellent. So we can now level up to a, a warehouse. A uh, workshop, sorry. Nice. Right, now where the fuck are we going to get fuel from? That's the question, folks. We've got a storage locker there. It's empty, empty. Let's try the party warehouse again. But I'm going to take a vehicle this time. Just because it's outside of our safe zone radius. Can I actually access our outposts yet? I cannot. For some damn reason, I'm not able to access my outposts. Which is a little bit disappointing, because uh, I could have easily expanded our safe zone radius to have the party warehouse. As an active one. Trade opportunity? Not interested in that. Not at all. Not, well, I would be, but we're not going to be here that much longer. Is that feral still, is that feral still there? He seems to have done a runner anyway. Hopefully we got to, oh, it's an infestation. 
Damn. I'm not really geared up for an infestation with uh, Brendan. So I'm just going to stick to my vehicle for the time being. Uh, he's he's, he's a, only a tiny level survivor. We haven't maxed him out or anything yet. He hasn't even got level 4 fighting, so we can't even give him a specialization or a special ability of any variety. So at the moment, we're going to stick to killing things with our vehicle. Then we'll go in and kill the stragglers with our good old uh, weapon of mass destruction. So we've got two potential fuel canisters here. We'll kill that screamer. Now I'm going to have a snack and we should be able to uh, deal with us. Oh god, there's Fatty Boom in the distance. He's angry, he's angry. Right, we need to quickly... Oh, balls. Oh shit, shit. Right. He's angry and hungry. We've got a Fatty Boom trying to ruin the day for us. And we're not going to let him. That infestation is still at large. But we need to lure out the Juggernaut before we can check this potential fuel supply. The Juggernaut's not going to be lured out, is it? He's just going to stay there and be obnoxious and annoying. Well, we, I'm not losing Brendan to a... I've, I've literally... I've been playing this game... Uh, well, you guys know how long I've been playing this game. I put a 15-hour off-camera grind in. I have did the uh, about a 10-hour off-camera grind yesterday. Not including all of the episodes that I've done. Yeah, I am not losing the Ericsson Survivor at this point. Uh, let's have a snack. In fact, we've got more zombies. So, there's no point in having a snack just yet. Uh, right, let's just get a run on now. He's going to charge at us. We're not going to let him eat us. I'm going to quickly search here. Fuel, 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 please. Yes, nice. Right, we've loaded that on our back. Uh, we're going to quickly head back to... Oh, shit! God damn it! We're going to quickly head back to our vehicle, hopefully, without aggroing any of these zombies. But if not, uh, I've got in this side, so hopefully nothing will attack us. Right, so we found some fuel. That wasn't bad at all. That was risky though, that was damn risky, and we got an infestation to clear out there. But at least we got some fuel, and we got some wits XP for Brendan as well. Brendan, I keep calling him Brendan, his name's Derek Johnson in this one. It's like I kept calling Aaron Butner, Aaron Butner, even though he's there, and BW Farkas, even though she was BW Bennett. I don't know, folks. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Right, now, uh, let's see, he's, he's tired. He's level 3 cardio, level 2 wits, level 3 fighting. Uh, right, let's give him a little bit of a rest. Is anybody else still sick? Amelia's good to go. He's still sick. Uh, let's switch out to Edgar Cool's shirt and we will take him out to clear that infestation and clear uh, the uh, juggernaut if it's still there. If in the key works, it's probably gone by now. And we'll take out four, five, six, seven, eight of those to clear out the infestation. One more snack. Uh, we need some pills as well, so we'll take aspirin. We've got plenty of those. He's, he's already max cardio, so we, we can just drive there in a almost trashed vehicle. And that will be the end of the episode. Hopefully there's more fuel there as well. So we've got 19 fuel now. So we're still all right on the fuel front, folks. Uh, but we need 25, I believe, in order to uh, refuel the RV to go into difficulty level 14. Is that correct? Yeah, we'll be on difficulty level 14. Bloody hell. I can't believe that. That's, that's come a long way. We've come a long way, folks. Me and you. You watch this infestation clear itself now that I'm gone. Right, Ophelia, that's a runner in trouble, isn't it? Oh no, it's a feral hunt mission. I don't think so, Ophelia. We'll leave that to it. Hunt down a feral? I don't think so. Right. We're just going to blow the shit out of this place. Get some shooting XP in the process. You can have one as well. Sweep. Axe. Right. Uh, snack. Switch out to another petrol bomb. There's some, still some in there by the looks of it. Maybe. Uh, I don't care. I'm mainly here for the fuel. Let's hope we've got some more fuel. We have. Call for scavengers for that. I'll take that one. Got any more here? Nice, 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 nice. So I'm going to drop this rucksack here. I will take that one. Which means we can come back for that one if need be. Anything else in here? Yeah, just you. Right, that's that infestation cleared. We've got construction materials as well. Bloody hell. Uh, the party warehouse is a brilliant place to go for everything by the looks of it. Uh, there's another place to search, but I can't seem to find it. 
Uh, if I break this open, we get a bit of influence if we get anything good. Nope, nothing good. And nothing good. Fuck you. Right, so we've got two lots of fuel. Oh, what's this? Flares. Screw you. More construction materials by the looks. Uh, I need to have a snack before that army bro cops hold on me. We'll search this. A brush axe, that's not bad at all. Yep, Lily, too late. Oh, son. So Party Warehouse was a stockpile of uh, fuel and materials. And we are 30 minutes in, folks. So I apologise for this one overrunning. We have cleared that infestation. Brendan Erickson has been levelled up a bit with them. Uh, rest, we're going to drop this fuel off home and continue getting our RV good to go. Thanks for watching, my friends. Goodbye.